to go back to the beginning. My fight against bio-warfare all started in a zombie-infested ghost town. It was September 1998. My first and only day as a police officer. Get down! Not bad. I never thought any of this stuff my brother taught me would work. Stars? A special force issue, huh? It's my brother's. That's why I'm here. To find him. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey. Leon Kennedy. Isn't she beautiful? I was about to stuff her. Chief Irons? You know him? Prowling around at a time like this. You're after G too, aren't you? G? Don't play dumb with me! Oh. Aren't you Dr. Perkins? Ah! I need that's not supposed to happen. Sherry, hold on. We need to stop this thing first. God. There was a woman. Wait, you mean? No. Not Ada. She. You're losing a lot of blood. Don't move. I've got to remove the bullet. Who was that? She was about to kill you. That's my problem, not yours. Fine. Don't tell me. But you better start working with me here. Uh. Or we'll never make it out of this alive. Uh, please, Ada. I need your help. I can't do this alone. You're right. I'll help you. Thanks. But first, we need to find the others. Don't die, Leon. I owe you. I guess she's on our side then. Lucky us. This is Hunk. We've acquired all the G samples. Mission completed. G. My creation will save me. But the virus was flawed. Even if you survive the zero conversion with G, you become nothing more than a puppet to its will. Our research was a failure. His only concern now is to procreate. People with a genetic makeup similar to his own could stand to birth a superior offspring. <laughs> Shh. 
Sherry. Come on, we have to help her. I can't. I've got unfinished business to attend to. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. If the embryo's been implanted, only the vaccine from the underground lab could save her. William, it's time to finish this. After reuniting with Sherry, we managed to escape from the underground sewer, only to be faced with a new problem. Sherry became sick. She told us that while she'd been wandering the depths of the sewers, she had been implanted with a G embryo. But it wasn't too late. We began our journey into the bowels of the Umbrella facility to retrieve the vaccine. How do you feel? It's okay. You're safe here. You can have it. It's yours now. For good luck. Thank you. Do you miss your mommy and daddy? No. They're always more preoccupied with their research. But you know, I prefer to be alone. <laughs> Come on, we better hurry. She's getting worse. Okay. Sherry, hang in there. We're gonna get the vaccine to make you better, okay? Clear! I promise we'll be back. Just wait here. We won't be long. That got his attention. Leon. Vaccine worked, and Sherry recovered, but time was running out. The seconds of the countdown to self-destruction were slipping by, and our only escape was through a hidden subway.
We're going to be okay now, aren't we? Sherry. I have something to tell you. About your mother. <laughs> the vaccine that saved you. It was from your mother. She loved you very much. Always has. Right up till the end. No, that's a lie. Mommy never... <laughs> After that, Claire set out alone to find her brother. And Sherry and I were rescued by U.S. government agents. We have the authority to do as we please with you. You and that girl. Just leave her out of this. She's an innocent. An innocent who carries the G antibody. Don't worry. We're taking very good care of her. Bottom line is... You have the experience we're looking for. So if you want this to end peacefully, you really have only one choice. Work for us. And just like that, I found myself in the service of the U.S. government. They were aristocrats, entitled and sustained by a greed for power. Having been involved in the foundation of Umbrella, the Ashford family had also independently performed research on the Veronica virus. However, 15 years ago, Alexander Ashford disappeared under mysterious circumstances. To make things worse, Alexander's daughter Alexia, a child prodigy who played a key role in the research, died at a young age. Her untimely demise brought an end to the Veronica project. And the Umbrella Files show that all research was apparently lost. The Ashford lineage gradually lost its power to the corrupt hands of the Umbrella Corporation. Alexia's brother, Alfred, was demoted to a mere supervisor, and he was sent to command a private detention facility on an isolated island in the Southern Seas, alone. I, I feel like this year may be special, don't you, Alexia? It's almost like there's something I'm forgetting. My dear Alfred, please be easy on yourself. Why don't you set down your burdens and play a game with me? You're right, Alexia. Since you've come back, I've never been this happy. way. Wait! I wasn't trying to escape. I just... The alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought that I... Rockford <sighs> Prison, detainee 267. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella, then, are you? I'm Claire Redfield. Damn, girl. You scared me. Eyes forward. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name's Steve. You don't look like one of them, Claire. They get you too? Yeah. You could say that. Looks like my brother was never even here. Umbrella probably doesn't know where he is either. What did he do? Why are they after him? I don't know. But he's been missing for three months. I was in Paris looking for him. I broke into one of Umbrella's labs. But I got caught. And you were sent here. What about you? What's your story? Uh, it's dumb. You don't want to know. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Some other jackass screwed up. Landed the two of us in here. So we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So you don't know much about this place, do you? 
Apparently some noble family owned the joint. The Ashfords. That's Alfred. He's the only surviving member. Rumor has it, he went mad from loneliness. But why would anyone want to bomb this place? Anyway, I've got to contact Leon. He'll come for us. Look out! <laughs> I am Alfred Ashford, son of Alexander Ashford. That's him. Why have you come to disturb us? Was it you? Was it you who spread that wretched virus across my island? That's got nothing to do with us! Look, we all need to get out of here right now, okay? <laughs> Fool. She has only just now returned to me. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Who? You mean Alexia? <laughs> she always did enjoy playing games. And she has come up with the most splendid game for us to play. Games? If you survive our challenge, I will personally present you with a getaway plane as your prize. Ready? Let the game begin! He is... was... my father. What? He worked for Umbrella. Nobody, just another face in the crowd. He was a rat. A mole. He tried to leak some data, make some quick cash, but they caught him. And they killed my mother. And then they took me. Steve. It was his fault. He was stupid. He was... Let's go. Alfred was playing two roles all by himself. He couldn't bear the fact that his sister was dead. This is our way off this island! Wait, something is wrong here. We don't have time, let's go! Claire! <laughs> I knew you would lead me to the truth. Okay, now we get the hell off this damn island. Taken my plane. It will only prove for more entertainment. <laughs> what was that? Something is stuck to the pontoon. I'll go back to the cargo room and take a look. The seaplane carrying Steve and Claire began to descend and made an emergency landing at an unknown facility, a forgotten site. It was just yet another playground. <sighs> Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. How 
Latitude 82 degrees 17 minutes south. We're, we're at the South Pole. What? Forgive me, Alexia. I thought I could finish them alone. <laughs> Awaken from your slumber and bring forth the great Veronica. Chris disappeared after the mansion incident. He was near impossible to track down. But using my newfound position in the government, I eventually discovered his location. I would have contacted his sister, but she was a ghost herself. So I turned my search over to Claire then, and eventually learned of her confinement on Rockford Island. I shared this information with Chris, and he asked me to arrange a rescue mission before he set off on his own to find her. Claire! Claire! Huh? Chris? Chris! I've been so worried! You kidding me? I thought tough girls like you didn't get worried. <laughs> what happened? How did you get here? Leon contacted me. Leon? You know him? Yeah. He tracked me down right after you went missing. Look, Claire, we can talk about this later, but we gotta get out of here first. Wait, Steve, he's here somewhere. We can't leave without him. <laughs> You're Alexia Ashford. Oh, you know my name. I thought you were dead. No, I've just been hibernating for 15 years to become one with the Veronica virus. Veronica virus? I still have some experiments to perform. Would you care to play along? Your friend awaits you in the Colosseum. You don't want to be late. <laughs> she injected me with something. I think... It's the Veronica virus. She wants to test me, see if I'll obey her orders. Claire, she wants me to kill you. Steve! I won't. Kill you! you out of here. No. I'm not gonna make it. You know that. The virus is in me. There's no turning back. No. You're coming with us. Claire. Steve! Steve! No! Stop. 
stay here. I'm gonna go plant this in the power room. I'm coming with you. It's time this ended. Alexia has to be stopped. I'm gonna finish this, Steve. And then we'll all be free. experiment at the Colosseum was so much fun, don't you think? <laughs> Though I guess sometimes a worker ant will turn on his queen. Chris! Are you okay? Oh, that's right. You two are brother and sister, aren't you? I had a brother once, too. He really wasn't much fun. He couldn't even wake me up on time. But I've released him of all his responsibilities. You think everyone in this world is here to serve you, don't you? Serve me? No. I think everyone else is here to serve my experiments. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, Veronica's angry, which makes me stronger. <laughs> If you are seeing this message, that can only mean that Code of Veronica has reached a critical stage. Father. The year is 1983, and I am afraid that my only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. She has even got to the point of experimenting on her own body. My daughter dreams of unleashing this thing into the world. This last step is the only way I can think of to help her. Whether you are on Umbrella's side or not, please help her. Even though it was he who created my brother and I, but he was such a miserable old man. What's going on? Where's Steve? Taken. A star's knife. But this one looks different from yours. Pretty sure I know who it belongs to. virus, despite Chris's best efforts, was procured by Wesker. He secured Steve's body which had been infected and was able to extract the virus, leading to its reappearance in South America. The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually, until the day comes when it can be destroyed. The Umbrella Corporation, creator of the spreading T-virus, has practically collapsed, and no cases involving BOWs have been reported since the Raccoon City incident. According to information we recently retrieved, a former Umbrella researcher contacted a man by the name of Javier Hidalgo in a small South American country. Javier, an ex-drug lord with political ties, disappeared shortly thereafter. Javier Hidalgo, a man equally famous for his extravagant lifestyle. Following his sudden disappearance, we found out that he had attempted to approach Umbrella. 
Just what are you up to now, Javier? So, you think B.O.W.'s actually exist? Oh, wait. You said you faced him before, huh? This is my first mission with Krauser. He's a soldier with the U.S. Special Operations Command, and has quite the resume of accomplishments in the field. But to him, after all he's been through, B.O.W.'s, cryptid, they're all the same. Our guide is in the village up ahead. He'll take us to Empar, where Javier is hiding out. Come on, let's move. Krauser everything about the Raccoon City incident. He just listened, quietly. But the situation in the village was different from Raccoon. There were controlled BOWs amongst the rest. What happened there? We made our way upstream towards Javier Hidalgo's mansion, the man who could hold the key to uncovering this mystery. <laughs> You don't have to worry. You're fine. We're not going to hurt We're you. We're the ones who saved you. You all right? So, you're the girl, huh? The one from Javier's mansion? The people in the village. What happened to them? They're all dead. We're here on a mission. Looking for an American who had contacted Javier about a virus. We need to find Javier. And we were hoping you could take us to Amparo. So that's Javier's... Yes. I escaped through there. Javier! Manuela... All of this, I've done for you. You need only to follow my directions for 15 years. This will prevent the transformation. But please, my dear, you must be patient. What the...? The man who gave us the Veronica virus told me it would work. The Veronica virus? These Americans cannot save you, my dear. Only I, your father, can help you now. Manuela! Manuela! Veronica. The dreadful horror Claire had encountered. Why did Javier give it to his own daughter? I believe Manuela is infected with the Veronica virus. Which means it could spread throughout this land. But why would Javier infect his own daughter? And how can she maintain her human form? How does she sustain it without transforming into something horrific? Like Steve. Her
Why did Javier infect you with the Veronica virus? And what did he mean by too late? You know, I shouldn't even be standing here, given the circumstances. injected with it as part of my treatment treatment it wasn't my fault my doctor diagnosed me with the same disease my mother had he told me there was no chance of recovery and all we could find out was that only people living in this area contracted it 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 killed my mother but somehow i Manuela told us everything she knew. When she was 15, she contracted the same fatal disease that her mother had. The Veronica virus was used as a form of treatment, and consequently she recovered. It must have strengthened her cells. However, the virus can severely damage its host's brain cells, and if incompatible, will take them over. Completely. Even Ashford's researchers were unable to control it. There appears to be no exception to this, outside of Javier's treatment of Manuela. Somehow, he's managed to keep her from turning into a monster. Leon. We should take care of the girl before it gets too late. It's only a matter of time, Leon, before she becomes a threat. Javier knows something. He's been able to prevent Manuela from transforming. I have to take her with me and find out how. Antivirus weapon protocol number 7600. You're on a special assignment for the president. My mission is to eradicate this virus once and for all. And with your help, I intend to do just that. Well, I am a soldier. And if your orders are from the President, then I'm on your side. Let's go. Time to kick some ass. These are all human organs. And girls. Manuela! Her organs must be transplanted regularly. What are you talking about? He helps with the pain, keeping the virus at bay. But that's only for the first 15 years. If you had just let me die, none of this would have ever happened. No. I couldn't just watch you die. In nature, the predators who prey on others only grow stronger and thrive. You crazy, selfish old fool! Considering you brought my daughter back, I will grant you death's meaning. I don't want to live, if it means others have to die. It's 
nothing. I guess this is it for me. into the depths of the abyss. It swallows you all. I understand now. I feel this pain because I'm still, still human. But if I were no longer to feel pain,
Why did Manuela never lose her conscience? Was it something genetic? Or was she sustained by this land that's so rich with life? The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually until the day it can be destroyed in our bodies, in our souls. I should have died with my father. No. No one should have died down there. Besides, you've got an obligation to live for the sake of the girls living inside you. Manuela was later taken into custody by the U.S. government. She was put under strict surveillance. But so far, there have been no reports of any changes to her body. Krauser's arm never fully healed, and he was forced to leave the army. Where he went, no one knows. Why did Manuela never lose her conscience? Was it something genetic? Or was she sustained by this land that's so rich with life? The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually until the day it can be destroyed in our bodies, in our souls. It is in the darkness where truth awaits us, a fact very few ever realize before their insignificant lives come to an end. But on that day, in the depths of that jungle, I was to face that darkness, and I was to know that truth. Who is this man? This whisker that Leon was talking about. And if I found him, could he help me regain my strength? I should have died with my father. No. No one should have died down there. Besides, you've got an obligation to live for the sake of the girls living inside you. You're cruel, Leon. Couldn't you make her feel proud? She has a whole new life ahead of her. There's nothing left to say. For you and I, Leon, we're merely different sides of the same coin. Can you make her feel proud?